Welcome back to Empowered. I'm Elizabeth Namofsky. On today's episode, we're discussing the collective female voice in art. And Carla, before we went to break, I mentioned psychic realism. So this is the style of your artwork, and you coined this phrase. What exactly is this? What it, what it means is that I think there's a need today. I think we've there's a need today to look at ourselves uh, deeper than what we're doing. We're, we're kind of getting caught up into this world, this frenetic world we live in, and we're, we're kind of on autopilot. And we, we keep going and going and going and going. We never have a chance to really reflect on who we are, what we're doing, uh, where we're going, what do we represent, what's my purpose here. Um, and I think we really need to look at especially the emotions that we have, we've kind of put them on the back burner. We don't even realize it. I think the world needs more empathy today and we need to be able to project what others are feeling as well. And that's something that I don't see enough of today in this very egocentric kind of existence that we're living in. So psychic realism is about the psychology behind the works that I do to bring light to these emotions for others, not just women, but you know, everyone to look at um, this artwork that I do and to look at themselves and reflect um, what they represent, what what are the emotions behind themselves that maybe they just haven't really thought about it. And they just keep going through the emotions of life day to day, routine, routine, and not really looking deep within themselves. So speaking of empathy, there is a strong emotional impact in your artwork. And it seems that it's captured through various styles, you know, pop art, expression, uh, expressionism, classical portraiture, collage, acrylics, oils, watercolor. And, and typically, an artist will stick to one form. Um, however, you've, you've decided to engage in all of these, which is difficult. Um, why did you decide to do this? I like the challenge, for one thing. Uh, <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think because people are are so different and women uh, are so diverse. And, you know, the, uh, I do, a, my paintings are about color and, and I think diversity is all about color. And um, I, I've put in a lot of patterns and colors to show that kind of diversity. I can't stick to one style because whatever message I have out there, I have to change it to get to the deeper meaning of things. And now I'm bringing that message into other forms of artwork. I've been working in Umbria for the past two years now, uh, working on sculptures and ceramics, and um, I'm just going to play with it and and bring out as much as I can within in this this message of diversity. I want to embrace diversity. It's not something to be tolerated. It when I hear the word, yeah, we can tolerate this, tolerate that, I get really angry because it's not about tolerance. Tolerance is a negative word. And I see a diversity as something to embrace, something that is rich in flavor in every in every aspect of life. So um, I celebrate it, and I that's what I want through my artwork—a celebratory kind of uh, uh, representation of women out there, and not something to be tolerated. I love it. So, in your latest published art book, your art critic said a statement. And he said, the many voices that Carla speaks of are therefore the kaleidoscope multitude of people who represent the mosaic of humanity. Kind of like what you were just saying. He said, yes. there is not only the psychological analysis of her characters, but also the convinced embrace of diversity. So I know you touched upon diversity, but I wanted to talk about his quote. Can you further elaborate on this with regards to the message to, to, to our audience today? Well, I think that, you know, people going through the show often think that this is a show just for women. And men, uh, you know, when they first started talking to me, uh, when they came in to see my art show, they said, oh, you just paint women. Uh, us men have been left out. And I said, no, no, this is not about just women. This is, it, it is also, it, it represents everyone. Um, some of my artwork shows that um, these emotions are not just solely women's emotions. They're emotions that men experience as well. So um, it does represent, I mean, we, we are, the multitude of, of, of voices that are out there is as complex as ever. And the cultural diversity is as complex as ever. And I think that, you know, we need to look at each other as 
um, from a point of humanity, not so much as a point of being different, but that we all have the same needs and 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 um, we all we, we all want the same things ultimately. We we absolutely do, and we're going to touch upon more of that when we come back after this next commercial break. More, more with Carla Denunzio. <laughs> 